we were trying to develop this complex trait of being able to survive in cold climates. So we focus mostly on woolly hair and also a gene that's associated with fat, fat metabolism. And we looked then in the mouse literature. So in mice, they're just a really common what they call it model organism to test things about genetics and development and things like that. So there's a lot of information out there about mice. So we could look at the genes that look like they have an important change in mammoths and see if the mouse version of those genes has ever been associated with a mouse that has the phenotype that we're interested in. We found 10 genes that overlap there where there have been a mouse that has a, somewhere a mouse has been born that has a variant in that same gene that gives that mouse a, a woolly coat phenotype. And so these, all the changes that we made have been observed individually in living healthy mice before. What we did that was different was put them all together in a single mouse. Asian elephants are closer genetically to mammoths than Asian elephants are to African elephants, which that sometimes blows people's mind. But so what we are working on is to use a lot of ancient DNA, computational analysis, advanced editing tools, and advanced embryology to bring back those lost genes, engineer them into their closest living relatives uh, so that we get uh, functional de-extinction, right? It's not possible to clone an extinct species. Uh, it is possible to do functional de-extinction where we're bringing back those core phenotypes or physical traits, and then looking at those traits that we can then rewild back into their natural habitat. They say that they're going to resurrect, de-extinct. Putting mouse mutations back in a mouse isn't resurrecting anything. And even if you could do that to an Asian elephant and make an Asian elephant that had the pretty color hair and sort of luxurious hair, um, that's not resurrecting anything. That's taking... They're taking mouse mutations and putting it into an elephant.